Now let's take a look at the Zenmuse H20T camera. The H20T camera is equipped with a 23 times hybrid optical zoom and a 20 mega megapixel sensor. It sets the bar for new standard DJI zoom technology payloads. These features made by DJI have made it easier to operate a camera with a zoom lens capabilities. The H20T camera also uh, comes along with a wide lens camera that allows the user to switch between the zoom camera and wide camera with just a single touch of the screen. This gives excellent situational awareness for the user as it lets them know the position of their M300 drone without compromising the zoom angle of the image they are focusing on. Here we are at Area 57, one of the few designated areas specially made for drone flying. Here, as you can see, we've assembled our M300 RTK. Now let's fly it. One of the key features of the H20T camera is its zoom capabilities. Take a look at this. Right now, we are overlooking the highway. With the M300 attached with the H20T camera, we can easily identify one of the cars and even see what exactly the model of the car is by using the zoom feature. With such a high-powered zoom lens, we can maintain a safe distance while still capturing a highly detailed rendition of the image we want. The next feature we're looking at is the Smart AI Tracking function. As you can see here, we are looking at one of our subjects down there. Once the yellow target appeared on our subject, you can click on the target so that our drone can automatically track our subject, its historical trajectory by looking for the subject on the other side of whatever obstacle it is. Right now, it is looking at the lorry. While the drone is remained stationary, the zoom lens will track the subject even after it goes behind an obstacle. DJI has also for the first time incorporated a laser range target finder. This gives the ability to tell us the distance between the camera and a subject for up to 1.2 kilometers away. This also gives the ability for the user to pinpoint on the map and then view the latitude and longitude coordinates of that particular pinpoint. For example here, our drone is looking at this subject which is at least 82.8 meters away and it, ha it has a longitude and latitude written on the bottom left side of the camera view. If we take a look at the Google map, we can see the pinpoint coordinates of the subject. Next, we're going to take a look at the thermal lens sensor feature. First, thermal is the ability to detect emitted heat. This allows you to see in total darkness, see through smoke, measure temperature, and accurately detect people and a wide range of functions. The thermal has a 640p resolution, 30Hz with a 13mm lens. The user has also the ability to look at either thermal or optical lens or even side by side. The side-by-side -side images really benefits as the user can see hotspots from the thermal sensor while maintaining visual reference. Next, we can take a look at the various color palettes available. We have the white hot and the black hot. It's normally used for public safety applications. Next is the rainbow and iron red, which is used to industrial application as it allows the user to see the heat between objects. The thermal sensor can also measure temperature through the isotherm function. With this, you can measure a person's temperature by pinpointing on them. You can also get the latitude and longitude coordinates through this feature as well. The M300 also has an automatic flight option. By clicking on the mission flight, you can create a route and choose between waypoint, mapping, oblique and linear flight mission. By choosing mapping, 
you are able to create a polygon on the selected map that you've chosen. By tapping on the screen, it will appear a polygon where you can set your flight parameters such as height, speed, your task upon completion, your side and frontal overlap ratios, your course angle, and your margin. Once you're satisfied with your flight settings, you can click to save and start your mission by clicking the play button. Once you're satisfied with your flight preparations, you can upload the flight mission and start flying automatically. Your drone will then go to its starting waypoint and will fly according to the route that you've set and will return to home once it's completed. While during the automatic mission, you can view the route where your drone is heading in the Google map. And you can also view what your H20T camera is looking at. You have also the option to look at your FPV camera which gives you a first person view on what your drone is heading. This gives three optional views for your M300, your FPV, your Zenmuse H20 T payload and your Google map. Right, that is how you fly the M300 RTK in an automatic flight option. For more product info, visit www.dji.com or go to www.droneskaki.com. If you want to learn more about how to fly an M300 RTK, visit www.djiacademyslango.com. See you there.